Morning, Q. Sorry about the leg. Huh. Skiing? Hunting. Right, now pay attention, 007. First, your new car. BMW. Agile, five forward gears, all points radar. Self-destruct system, and naturally, all the usual refinements. Now, this I'm particularly proud of. Behind the headlights, Stinger missiles. Excellent. Just the thing for unwinding after a rough day at the office. Need I remind you, 007, that you have a license to kill, not to break the traffic laws. I wouldn't think of it. Good. Right, let's get on to more practical matters. A typical leather belt. Male, size 34, buckle, notch. You finished? Yes. Good. A typical leather belt. Thank you. I'm familiar with that device. Not one with a 75-foot repelling cord built into the buckle. Fire and out shoots a piton, followed by a high tensile wire designed to support your weight. I see. And what if I need additional support? It's tested for one double <laughs> Flight 878 to St. Petersburg. X-ray document scanner. A pen. This is a class four grenade. Three clicks, arms the four second fuse. Another three disarms it. How long did you say the fuse was? Oh, grow up, 007. They all said the pen was mightier than the sword. Thanks to me, they were right. Look, let's ask Fred here to demonstrate for us. Here we are. Sorry about this, Fred. One, two, three. <laughs> Don't say it. The writing's on the wall? <laughs> Along with the rest of it. Now, 007, do please try and return some... <laughs> Do please try and return some of this equipment in pristine order. Don't touch that! It's my lunch. in April is a spring month. Oh, yeah? What are you, the weatherman? You're for crying out loud, another stiff-ass Brit. Your secret codes and your passwords. <laughs> One of these days, you guys are gonna learn just to drop it. Come on, my car's over there. Thank you. Like you said, drop it. All right. In London, April's a spring month, whereas in St. Petersburg, we're freezing our butts off. Is that close enough for government work? No. Show me the robes. Please, no. All right, all right, all right. Jack Wade, CIA. James Bond. Stiff ass bread. <laughs> That's a nice move. Nice car. Well, this baby hasn't let me down yet. She's an ugly little bitch, but she gets you there. <laughs> hey, Bond. You doing any gardening? Jimmy? So what do you know about Yanis? Zilch. Zips? No one's ever seen him. But the man's connected up the gazoo. KGB, military, screwdriver. Rumor has it, he lives on one of those old Soviet missile trains. That armor stuff they used to run around the country so we couldn't target him. Wanna hand me that hammer, Jimbo? 
No, the bigger one, the sledge. Anyways, to tell the truth, you don't find this guy, he finds you. Hell, it's all Russian mafia. The best thing I can do is point you in the direction of his competition. <laughs> Who is the competition? Oh, an ex-KGB guy. Tough mother. Got a limp on his right leg. Named Sukovsky. Valentin Dmitrovich Sukovsky? Yeah. You know him? I gave him the limp. Now, let me get you straight, Jimmy. You shot him in the leg, you stole his car, you took his girl. <laughs> and now you want Valentin Sukovsky to set you up with Yanis? Yes. Well, what are you going to do? Appeal to his heart? No. His wallet. Oh, that might work. Okay, showtime. Valentin operates out of building number 23 there. Are you sure you want to do this? Last guy who dropped in uninvited went home air freight in very small boxes. Make sure they send me home first class. I want you to set me up with Yanis. What has he done to deserve you? Stole a helicopter. I have six. Three. None that fly. Who's counting? These are not just criminals, Valentin. They're traitors. They used the chopper to steal a nuclear weapon. Killed a lot of innocent Russians doing it. What do you expect from a Cossack? Who? This Janus. I never met a man, but I know he's Olyan's Cossack. Group that worked for the Nazis against the Russians. Second World War. You know your history, Mr. Bond. At the end of the war, the Lienz Cossacks surrendered to the British in Austria, believing they would join your government and wage war against the communists. But the British betrayed them, sent them back to Stalin, who promptly had them all shot. Women, children, families. Not exactly our finest hour. Still, ruthless people. They got what they deserved. I want you to set me up with Yanis. Tell him I'm asking about the chopper. You're going to meet me tonight at the Grand Hotel Europe. And then you and I are even, and he owes me one. Precisely. <laughs> <laughs>